It ain't a proper sky without a few clouds in it. <laughs> There's not too many. That's not looking too bad here, actually. Hey. The big what? day! What Real do you exciting. think? Oh, I'm excited. I'm psyched. What do you think? Crappy. I mean, <laughs> there's no drama in that sky. No drama, he no says. No drama. Well, it's about 40 minutes before first contact, which is the beginning of the partial phases of the eclipse. Um, we've staked out a spot toward the bow on the front end of the ship, and it is an area that seems to be sheltered from the wind. There are some clouds near the horizon, but it appears that as the sun rises, it'll move into a clear area of the sky. So we're looking pretty good. Well, this will be my 14th total solar. This will be his 14th total solar. <laughs> and we've never been clouded out. And I've never been clouded out, so I don't intend to start now. <laughs> okay. I think that's a good plan. I think, I think it we is. should handcuff them below decks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Modelers who have seen us on the satellite, okay. and they say we're sitting pretty. This is a, we have a um, marine layer here. Uh, this, is a, this is going to be burning off as the sun rises. They are giving Paul Gauguin a 75% chance of seeing totality without clouds. What's your prognosis? I think we'll see it. You think so? Yeah. And this will be how many for you? Number 10. Number 10. And all home runs? Yes. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you. She's at 30 clips. Wow, she's at. Yeah. Camera with that. <laughs> Looks like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> so which ones has she been to? Uh, China last year, uh -huh. and she was in uh, Nova Sibirsk the year before. Wow. Unbeknownst to him.
How'd you guys do? What do you think? Great. Yeah, we did well. Thank you. It was worth coming from Africa all this way. Africa? Uh -huh. Where in Africa? Tanzania. Wow. Salami. It's the first one and it was fantastic. Really? It lived up to your expectations? Yes. Especially the prominences and seeing the things with the, the good binoculars that during totality. Wow. Well, my first eclipse, I finally saw it. I thought it was really excellent. Um, the diamond ring was beautiful on the third contact. It, it was more than spectacular. It got really dark, darker than I had imagined. And I almost thought it was like in a rain, like it was a big rain cloud that just shut everything down. And it, it, was, it was wonderful. It was wow. Great. Okay, Beverly, I got the report from your son. What do you think? I know. He's already soaking me for the, the <laughs> Australian eclipse. He's greasing my elbow really good. I see. Are you going to give in or are you going to hold out? Oh, I think he's a fabulous travel companion. I'd love to have him come. And, uh, so this was a great eclipse here. It was just so fabulous. Number eight? Number eight. It was a fabulous eclipse. Each one's better. Each one? Each one's different in its own way, and each one's great. And how, one's the same. how many have you done? This is number seven. Great. Yeah. See them all? This one. Well, this was number 14. Okay. So uh, each one is uniquely different. This one happened to have some really nice coronal streamers. Uh, there's a magnetic or relatively good solar activity off on the limb. And uh, we were able to see that uh, quite clearly. And uh, you can see that as the streamer going off, and then there was quite a bit of uh, interaction and helmet corona structure around the other side of it as well. I have a note from Aram Caprielli in Easter Island. Crystal clear sky, totality seen by 110, very happy. Wow. We are left with a little treat from Bob Stevens while we sort of collect ourselves and head off to our various destinations. We still have a few minutes. Four minute video of the eclipse, your eclipse. You need this.